Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. And I think to myself, what a wonderful So today's video, I'm going to share with you the scents that I think are going to be perfect for Valentine's Day or even just Valentine's Day weekend. I love celebrating Valentine's Day. I will personally be doing a Galentine's Day this year because I am single and I'll probably be baking and cooking and just doing like a full pamper day next Sunday. So very excited to be doing all of that, but I will share with you guys some of the best scents that I think will be great to celebrate Valentine's Day. I'm going to start off with my personal favorite and what I will be wearing on Valentine's Day and that is Sugared Cherry Crisp. So this is from the fall, from last year fall 2020, and this literally smells like a snack. So if you wanna get it up on Valentine's Day, you gotta wear this. I only bought it in the body cream, which I'm really sad. Um, I actually tried it in a fine fragrance mist and didn't like how it smelled because it left like a dry down that kind of reminded me of my grandmother. It had a lot of musk in the dry down of the mist, so I didn't like that. I wish I would've got it in like a shower gel or something, but Sugar Tray Crisp is so yummy, and I've been loving pairing it lately with Pink Velvet Cupcake. This one is so good. You will definitely love this for Valentine's Day. It's like sweet sugary berries. So good. The fragrance notes are sparkling red berries, whipped pink marshmallow, and sugared praline. So these two have been a really good combo for me lately because it's kind of like cherry, cherry berry cupcakes almost. It's really, really yummy. Um, I didn't mention it, but the scent notes for Sugar Cherry Crisp are Bright Cherry Delight, Crumbled Graham Cracker, and Spun Vanilla Sugar. So these two I've been pairing together lately and they are so yummy, but I definitely recommend Pink Velvet Cupcake. I have it right here in the body cream as well for Valentine's Day. It's like the packaging is perfect. The scent is perfect and fruity. And if you like fresh and fruity, you will love this scent. I think it is... Is it still out in this form? I don't actually know. Um, but if you have it from this fall or from 2019 fall, then you can definitely pull that back out. I hope they bring it out again this year as well because it's kind of slowly becoming a staple. The next one I will recommend if you also like fresh and fruity is Champagne Toast. Now, Champagne Toast is amazing. It is like a nice effervescent fresh scent. I don't have the scent notes because this is just the fine fragrance mist from, I believe this is from the Mother's Day collection from 2020. And I got this at um, SAS, but it smells so bubbly and fresh. It's supposed to be like champagne and berries. So these two, um, Pink Velvet Cupcake and Champagne Toast are pretty close. They're kind of in the same scent family. They're both um, those bubbly berries, but Pink Velvet Cupcake has a kind of um, bakery note to it. Well, not really bakery, like that whipped uh, marshmallow note to it, whereas this is much more fresh. Fresh and bubbly. Oh, it's so yummy. So this is a really good option if you kind of just want to do fresh and fruity and that's it. And I also have it in the single wick candle. So if you want to burn your candle of champagne toast and kind of get you in the mood, I probably will be burning this like the morning of while I'm getting ready. Um, so champagne toast is a great option. Another option for a candle that I have here is strawberry pound cake. So this is from that marbled collection from Candle Day and strawberry pound cake is a staple. It's back out again for this spring and the candle is so delicious smelling. It's The scent notes are fresh strawberries, golden shortcake, and whipped cream. It's just like, it smells exactly like strawberry shortcake, I don't know. It smells so good, so, or strawberry pound cake, my bad. But if you have this in body care as well, this would be really good. I don't have it in body care. I did use it last spring when it came out and it was really, really yummy. So if you wanna smell like cake, <laughs> then definitely um, use your strawberry pound cake body care. And I will definitely be burning strawberry pound cake on Valentine's Day. It smells so yummy. So I have a few recommendations for if you're just staying in and chilling like I am. I'll probably still be wearing Pink Velvet Cupcake, but these are really good options if you just are gonna have a chill day. Maybe you're gonna do a movie marathon of like cheesy romance movies. Let me know your favorite cheesy romance uh, movie down below. I um, love 27 Dresses. That was a great one. It was on the, the other night on TV and I watched it. And Princess Bride, oh my gosh, you have to watch Princess Bride. I think I'm actually gonna be doing that because that's like me and my family's go-to movie for movie nights. Um, Princess Bride is awesome. So let me know down below some of your favorite rom-coms. Anyways, 
getting back to the scents. Some really good ones if you're just gonna stay in and watch movies all day and have yourself like a little fun night. Um, the first one is Pink Warm and Cozy. So this one is like a really nice kind of cashmere blend is what I think of it. Um, I don't have any, oh, here's scent notes. Soft vanilla, toasted coconut, and passion fruit. So really this to me is like a calming scent. I don't get any coconut. I don't know where that's coming from, but it is a little bit fruity with that soft vanilla. And I get kind of a cashmere note to it, which makes me feel really relaxed and yeah, I love this scent. It's a staple. If you have anything from Pink, you probably have this too. Um, so yeah, I definitely recommend this. Spray it on your couch, spray it on your blankets and stuff before you get in there and start watching your movies and this will be really, really good. Another pink scent that I have is Vanilla Swirl. This one is Frosted Vanilla and Sugar Crystals from the um, Winter Time. And this, it really just smells like sugar crystals. It's so sugary and sweet. Mm, it smells so so good. So if you're looking for something kind of simple, but you still want to feel like dolled up and cute This is a really good one. It's just like super super sugary and sweet something a little step up from that is warm vanilla sugar This one is a favorite of mine ever since middle school This was kind of my go-to scent. Some people did Japanese cherry blossom. Some people did like um, Cucumber melon, but my favorite was warm vanilla sugar and it always has been. Warm vanilla sugar is intoxicating vanilla, white orchid, sparkling sugar, fresh jasmine, and creamy sandalwood. It says cozy, enveloping, irresistible. Mm. But yeah, warm vanilla sugar is just a nice, beautiful, simple vanilla scent. It is very cozy. Like I could also spray this in my bed before I go to bed and feel like amazing. But yeah, warm vanilla sugar. I definitely recommend if you want to stay kind of simple, if you're just staying in, maybe your boyfriend's coming over or something and y'all going to cuddle on the couch, this would be a really good scent to put on and kind of just smell nice and girly and warm and cozy. So those are my um, scents for if you're just going to be cozy and stay in and have yourself a little nice night. And then a few kind of perfumey. I don't go for perfumes. Just by the way, I am not a floral kind of person. I like fruity and I like gourmand scents, but these for me are the most floral that I would go. So the first thing I have is Velvet Sugar. Now, can we just take a second for the packaging? It just screams Valentine's Day, okay? It has the hearts on it, has a little bow, like it's a chocolate box. It is so pretty. So Velvet Sugar is an amazing scent. I want to say it has strawberries, and like whipped mascarpone or something or whipped vanilla. I'll put the scent notes down here, but oh my goodness. It has a slight scent of floral. I want to say jasmine because jasmine is like the only floral that I like, um, but it just smells so nice and sophisticated without being too overwhelming. And that's why I really like this one. I can't get behind, you know, you're the one or any scents like those because they're just too floral for me and they give me a headache. But Velvet Sugar is a really good one. Like if you're going out on a date night, definitely recommend pairing this with like your favorite perfume or something. And speaking of perfumes, I do have one that I would recommend and it's just a mini sample. I just got into perfumes in the past couple of months. So I really don't have a lot to choose from, but I do have an Ariana Grande mini sample in Sweet Light Candy. It's just this little pink one. Um, it's so cute, but it really smells like candy to be honest with you. It smells so beautiful and simple, but very sweet and sugary. Mm, it just smells so, so good. So if you have this on and you're like cuddling with your boyfriend, he's definitely going to smell and he's definitely going to say that you smell good. So just saying. So these two would be a really good pair together. Um, but yeah, I definitely recommend Ariana Grande Sweet Like Candy. This would be a good one for Valentine's Day. I will be wearing it personally for Valentine's Day. And I do have two left. So the next one is the Twinkling Nights Body Lotion. Um, this one is a really good one to kind of mix with a few different scents. So the notes on here are frosted jasmine petals, whipped vanilla, and mandarin blossom. So it's kind of a fruity floral. It has a beautiful undertone of that mandarin. So it leaves you with like a slight citrus note at the end. But it really is just kind of like vanilla and jasmine. 
it's a beautiful beautiful fragrance so i definitely recommend if you have this lotion or really this in any other form to mix this with some of your florals for valentine's day i feel like this would be a really good combination and i think for myself i will be mixing it Hmm, I think I will be mixing it with something for Valentine's Day. Maybe the night. Maybe I'll take a bath and then I'll put this on after. So yeah, definitely recommend Twinkling Nights. And then the last thing that I have to recommend for you for Valentine's Day is Almond Blossom. This one is also a really nice um, mist that is not too floral, but it is still florally. So it gives you kind of a note of sophistication, but if you're like me and you don't like florals or you get headaches from them, it's also a little subdued. I need to get back into wearing this. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. It's also kind of one of those warm fragrances. I'm really attracted to those warm fragrances. This is something that I would be wearing if I was going on a date on Valentine's Day. Absolutely. I think I will wear this for date nights anyways. This is beautiful, so. That is the last fragrance that I will recommend for Valentine's Day. Let me know down below if you guys have any plans or if you have plans on what scent you're going to be wearing. Like I said, I think I'm gonna be doing Pink Velvet Cupcake and Sugar Cherry Crisp for daytime um, along with my Ariana Grande Sweet Like Candy perfume. And then I think for nighttime I'll go with Twinkling Nights and maybe either Warm and Cozy or Warm Vanilla Sugar on like my sheets or something before I go to bed. So anyways, let me know if you guys have any plans, um, what scents that you'll be mixing for Valentine's Day. And yeah, that's everything for today's video. I hope that whatever you're doing for Valentine's Day that you have a really nice and awesome day and that you know you treat yourself, pamper yourself and just have fun. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.